Welcome to another immersive experience with the encounter. Let's talk about Janice. We're going to be trying out Death Row Records. That's right. Snoop Dogg actually acquired this company now. Death Row Records, limited edition, red wine. Um, let's see. The ABV on this is going to be. Not even on the bottle. Yeah, it's on the bottle. The alcohol by value. If I had, oh, here we go. Ooh, 14.5% alcohol by volume. 14.5% ABV. And it's coming out of Sonoma, California. Really? Okay. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, crack this open. So, first thing we're going to do is there's actually a couple of holes on top. So what we're going to do is going to go inside one of these holes work to go so push this in okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to uh now get this going like that one more all right okay move the foil a little bit Going to add in um, a little cork here that has a aerator on it, and I'm able to cap it when I don't want to pour anymore. So here we go. So what we're going to do is get that in there. Cap it back up. Put it right there. out the way and let's go ahead and get it on let's do this so all right strawberries cherries little tobacco um i'm also getting uh red grapes on this so i'm getting the red grape cannons it seems very strong so it's definitely um going to be on more of the um the more robust side instead of it being a light red this is definitely a more darker red as you can also see but fragrance wise it's very pungent a little more savory than it is on the sweet but it's very pleasant almost um uh, perfumic if you will so but overall it does smell like a wonderful red so let's go ahead and get our taste on Oh, that's nice. That is a not a medium body, but a heavy body, just like the fragrance. The thing that's really pushing, I'm getting notes of peach, strawberry. Um, I'm definitely getting the red grapes with a touch of the with green grapes. So a little twang to it. It's got nice heavy tanning, so it's giving me that roughness around the cheek. The other thing that I like about this is I'm also getting a little bit of some cantaloupe. That's just me. I don't know if anybody else is going to get that, but I'm getting that. But peach is definitely um, like right there. It's really nice, like white peach. But if we had the pick, it's like really dark red grapes with those tannins. Um, not a lot of tropical notes. Um, this is more of like a wine that you would have with dinner, if that makes a lot of sense. Um, this isn't something that I wouldn't recommend that you would have just to sip. This is more of a wine, in my opinion, that you would pair with your food. And to be honest, I wouldn't normally go with anything that would be technical that this wine would go with. But hey, if you like the way it tastes and the way it sounds, it's going to honestly pair automatically with anything that you are going to be eating. A cheeseburger to a steak to a salad. It really doesn't matter. Um, as I'm talking, I'm also getting a little bit of like that twang is almost coming in. I don't want to say the word vinegar because once wine goes bad, it has a vinegar taste. I don't want to do that. And it's not that. It just has some, like when you're eating grapes and it's got that little, like, you know, on the green grapes and it's got a little bit of that sour kick, that pucker. That's what I'm talking about. But not at all. 
I don't want anyone to mistake this as something um, with um, with vinegar. Not at all. Because again, once a wine tastes vinegary, it's actually spoiled for bad stuff. And it's good for something else. Um, as far as that tobacco that I was smelling, it's there. It's giving a lot of that earth tones. Um, it's giving me some under thrush. It's giving me verb, uh, like, um, what's the word? Like herbish type flavoring. So I'm going to go with tobacco. And that's a real nice thing that goes with uh, wine, especially for the darker bodies, the heavier reds. Um, you have a couple of those things. Tobacco seems to be uh, one of the things that people usually recognize in their wine when they think of kind of the heavier bodies, the darker bodies. So this has some of those telltale signs of a really nice red. And considering that it's a, um, it almost seems like a red blend. So I also see in it, in my opinion, um, it has a little bit of some Pinot Noir that's in there. Um, and I like good Pinot. Um, so this is really nice. Would I drink it again? Absolutely. If I could find any more, I definitely would. I haven't been able to see where this wine, um, it was given to me as a gift. I ended up getting three of them. And at the time that I got them, you can only order them online. So I do see them in my local grocery store or where I frequent to buy alcohol. When I see another bottle, I'm definitely going to buy another one. I recommend this if you have it. If you're not a wine drinker, um, I would say just try it because you're a big fan of like Snoop Dogg and Nobody Said the Death Row uh, record label. It's just a cool thing to have on the shelf. And not a lot of people are going to believe you. But um, hey, if uh, Snoop Dogg can get behind it and make a wine, it's got to be pretty good, right? And with that said, I want to say thank you uh, for being here with me on this tasting experience. Until next time. Thank you.